Well, it was, as a child, it was my dream to conduct an orchestra, and by chance, via the silent film scores, I have the possibility to conduct orchestras, and I like it. Well, <laughs> that's a good question. It's a long story because I grew up with silent film without knowing I have a silent film. I watched uh, a little reel uh, of Munchausen, The Adventures, and I remember then later I was at the age of 10, I've been in Gold Rush in Freiburg and maybe two people sitting in the cinema, but the year later I dressed myself as chaplain for the carnival in Germany, and my first composition was to, to make music for a, a handicapped person who is walking differently than normally. So, but this only came me after I started to, to play for silent film, which came, arrived very by chance. Somebody asked me if I know somebody who could play for silent film. Not next year, but uh, in three days. And I said, okay, I'll do it. And I kept going now for 40 years. It takes me uh, between three months and half a year. It depends on the length of the film and the complexity of the score. <laughs> Yesterday the dress rehearsal went out of sync totally and I suggested it was the wrong speed of the, of the, of the DCP. And I had my memory of the tempo and it was differently from what we, I had to contact. So I stopped and I told the orchestra, what we rehearsed is just nothing. Fortunately, we did it musically, in slow tempo, and for the concert we had not double speed, but a very faster speed. I don't know, uh, there's some, um, you can use a click track, what they do for uh, normal synchronizations for t sound film, but I like the non-technical approach so I know I want to know the film by heart I want to know the music as good as possible just to give a liberty for the music for the musicians to express also something non-mechanical you know you understand it's not the bar which counts it's the music which counts and so I try to smoothly find my way through the score normally it works